We're back for more Skyrim, and we're inside, um... Twilight Sepulchre, that's the name. Um, so there's a few paths here. Never mind, there's only one, and I'm just going crazy. Alright. Okay, here we go. There's some, I see some sentinels in here. There's one right there. I'm pretty sure none of them drop anything good. good here that I can like make use of? Nope. Not really. Alright, I think I need to take this one out actually. None of them drop anything good. It's kind of depressing. All right, what's up here? I don't think I have this one yet. Although I really don't need to be caring about uh, collecting books and stuff now, considering uh, all I. Stuff. Oh god, I didn't. Except when you do. So most of these guys just dropping bones and bows. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Or arrows, rather. Alright. This is a very hard room to deal with. I also raged in the original series of this, and this was also like the climax of the entire series there. Alright. Wait, what? I'm, I'm technically in the light game. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I was in the light. Oh no, you have to stay in the shadows. Yeah, I'm high. Oh, what's this boy? Oh. God damn it, Skyrim. Alright, what, what don't I need here? Hmm. Probably don't need either of these. Thank you. I forget what you offer here, here, or what you do.
Hmm. No. You know, if I had done the Thieves Guild more than once, I probably would know what I'm supposed to do here. Um, let's see. <sighs> nice drums. Her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Offer what she desires most, reject the material, for her greatest want is that which cannot be seen. So luck? How do I offer you my luck? What give? Cannot be seen. that it was on the left side so it should be right here right yep I get it because she likes the darkness all right let me do a solid save here Shit, that actually fucking killed me. Alright. Look at this. Tell me this isn't beautiful. Oh. Am I disabled? The answer is, of course, a profound yes. Alright, what's further in here? Okay, I guess there was no reason to come this way. Well, if I wanted to go around, but I don't believe in going around. We need to go down to go up. Hey, it's Anders. I can't believe it. I came all this way, saw those ridiculous riddles just end up here after I memorized Nystrom's clues he collected from Lithalis. I slit his throat. And I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't get a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. Me 
too, dude. It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world, or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmir has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreements. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. Oh, thank you. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, See you in the stage. Won't you? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. <sighs> she sounded indifferent. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful. Outwardly sounding angry. Silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of stealth, the Half Moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the agent of strife. Crazy. Why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. The Guild has welcomed you back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. The agent of stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent slowly becomes invisible. The agent of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. The agent of subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. That's useless. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. Oh shit, I didn't mean to fucking. I feared I would never 
to see you. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Just very quickly. Oh, he's an Imperial. Okay. Didn't shadows. know. Goodbye, Carlyle. Yes, Nightingale. What is it? How will I know if I'm needed? If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the need arise, the portal connects the sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. Since it's your home as well, I hope to see you in Brynjolf then. Of course, I may visit some of Skyrim's cities too. Why? Because from time to time, I can't afford to get lost in that, can we? Gallus's oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow. The realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. No, not gone. He's become one with the shadows. This is the greatest honor a nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, he's become a part of that which we use to live. Absolutely. When we say, walk with the shadows, we are asking those nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's believed that they are literally what guides our uncanny luck. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. Farewell. Eyes open, and walk with the shadows. Okay, well... Waiting a full day. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, just like that. Uh, and I forget which one was supposed to do which, so uh, I'm gonna quick save. Okay, strife. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, wait, doesn't the other one. The other one must make me invisible, doesn't it? I think I'll use that then. Uh, I need this one. So it's gotta be this one. Shadow Cloak. Fucking sweet, that's awesome. All right. Doubtful I'll ever use it, but <laughs> I could, I can, uh, I'll take it, you know? Oh, so that's just like a straight up portal. That's cool. Hmm. Okay. Do, 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 do. That was the Thieves Guild. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. I don't know where the guy is that's supposed to find me, though. Like I said, this is kind of making me just a little bit cautious about what I should be doing here. So I think what I'll do... These are cultists. this guy is. Let me... Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wait 24 hours each time and just see if I can get him. 
Because I'm fairly certain, like, it shouldn't be this hard for him to find me. You're supposed to find him out in the wilderness, and he's supposed to come to you. And, like, he's physically doing this, like, off-screen. Like, if you want to call it that. The game's doing calculations as to where he is. Help. Oh, there he is. All right. Help me. Please, take this. You must keep it safe. Away from... Oops. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Isn't it great that, like, Skyrim did the thing where... It, like, bugged it out, so, like, I can't, like, I can't, like, attack. Um, let's look at the bloodstained letter real quick. Okay. Though Emperor Martin Septum sealed the barrier between worlds, worse things in the Oblivion Crisis could be in store if the woeful worshippers of the Daedric get their hands on the fragments of... Fragments. Good Byron, guard the shard well, and Akatosh protect you. Guardian Theros. Yeah, see, I can't, like, actually attack right now. But, there is something I can do. Oh, what? I don't have. Uh, is it a. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. Whatever. Um. I guess. Next time, things. Thank you all for watching.